Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Inserting your signature to documents adds a professional touch and helps validate important files like contracts, memos, and more. In this video, I will suggest several ways to add your signature to your Word document and walk you through each process step by step. Let's go. Conveniently, Word has a built-in feature that lets you draw your signature freehand. You can access this feature in the Draw tab, but if it's missing, right-click anywhere on the ribbon and choose Customize the Ribbon. Find the Draw option on the left panel and add it to the ribbon configuration. In the Draw tab, navigate to the Pen selection and choose your preferred tool for creating your freehand signature. Don't forget to click the drop-down button to adjust the thickness and color of the pen before you start drawing. Head over to the spot in your document where you want to insert the signature. Now, use your mouse or touchpad to draw your signature. For a smoother experience, you can even use a plug-and-play signature pad if you have one available. To adjust the size or position of your signature, simply click the pointer icon in the Draw tab and select the image. Hold and drag the selected object to move or resize it as needed. Also, you can save your signature for future use. Right-click on the finished signature. Select Save as Picture and choose a folder to store it in. The image will be saved as a PNG file with a transparent background, making it perfect for inserting into any document. If you already have a pre-made signature as a transparent PNG file, you can easily insert it into your Word document. Just position your cursor where you want the signature to appear. Then navigate to the Insert tab on the ribbon. Click the Pictures button and select this device from the drop-down menu. Locate the PNG file containing your signature on your computer and click Insert to confirm. Once inserted, click the Layout Options button and choose In Front of Text to easily overlay the signature on top of your typed name or any other text in your document. On the other hand, what if you have a scanned image of your signature but the background is not transparent? Follow the same steps as described earlier to insert the image into your document. Once it's placed, keep the image selected and get ready to clean it up. If the image is larger than necessary, navigate to the Picture Format tab and click Crop. Adjust the cropping area as needed, and press Enter to confirm the edits. The next step is to remove the background and make it transparent. Select the image again so you'll be in the Picture Format tab, and click on Color. Under the Recolor options, choose Black and White at 50%, and click the Remove Background button. In this mode, select Mark Areas to Keep, and then click directly on the lines of your signature. Everything highlighted in magenta will be removed, leaving you with a transparent background. To remove other parts, switch to Mark Areas to Remove and target unwanted portions of your picture. Once everything is selected, press Enter to confirm the changes. Now your signature is ready to be dragged and positioned over any text in your document. If you frequently embed your signature in documents and want to avoid manual insertion each time, you can save it as an auto text entry for easy access. First, select your signature image along with any accompanying text, such as your typed name or title. Navigate to the Insert tab. Click Quick Parts and go to Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery to open the Create New Building Block window. Here, you can assign a name to your signature block. In the Gallery drop-down menu, choose Auto Text and click OK to save it. After that, whenever you need to insert your signature block, simply click on the Quick Parts menu within the Insert tab. Go to Auto Text and select the signature block you created for easy insertion. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.